Hello friends, welcome back. Um, today is uh, will be a different video. I'm gonna be doing a get to know me tag as well as having mukbang at the same time. Um, I have some lobsters here, um, blue crab, mussels, um, crawfish, and some sausage. And I have some cucumber right here. And I also made my homemade sauce. There you go. Um, I think I'll put that closer to me. There you go. So anyway, um, I'm fairly new to YouTube, and in order for me, for you guys to get to know me, I'm gonna do this get to know me tag. And I have some questions in here. Uh, I'm gonna do at least 50 somebody was out there i'm gonna do at least 50 question if it's not too long because i'm 50 years old so hopefully it's not going to be too long i will do it quick we're not going to spend too much time to it uh into each question and i just want you to get to know me and uh and uh and so forth okay so uh in the meantime let's dig in into this uh lobsters and by the way if you're down south i'm not sure if Shoprite is nationwide but uh, here um, where I am on the East Coast, we have ShopRite and they're on sale for $6.99 a pound. So go to your near ShopRite and get some for this coming Memorial Day weekend. Um, I got four and I paid, I think $31. So they're about a pound or more each. And I tasted one of the claw they're sweet and delicious. You're not gonna regret it. So run and go to Shoprite and get you some before they run out. So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and break one off to get it started. There you go. I don't usually eat this, but oops, sorry about that. Um, there you go. I usually just buy lobsters when they're on sale. Don't buy them when they're like. $12.99 a pound. I'm like, no. Mm -mm. $6.99 a pound. You can't beat that. So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat one first and then we'll get we'll jump into the, the first question. So let's um well you know what? While I'm peeling this off, I'm just gonna go ahead and read the first question. What is my name? My name is Lynn. And uh, where are you from? Lynn is L H Y N. I spell my name different. Where are you from? I'm from New Jersey, East Coast. And where, you, where were you born? I was born in the Philippines, but I was raised in the uh, United States. Um, where did you grow up? I grew up in, I uh, actually grew up in West Virginia, but moved to New Jersey uh, 21 years ago. So what is your best physical feature? I would say my legs. Mm -mm -mm. It's so sweet and good. I mean, oh my goodness, this is so good. When you're cooking your own, you have an option to buy them steamed or live. I, I prefer to buy them live so I know they're fresh. Because when they steam it, you don't know if they were dead already and then they steamed it. So make sure you don't overcook it. Steam it for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how big the lobster is. And um, you'll get the perfect consistency. Mmm, so good. Because when you overcook the lobster or any seafood, they become mushy. So. Mmm. So, last question, well, what's the best best physic, uh, physical feature? I would say my legs, because I used to be athletic and my legs have always been muscular. That's what my husband loves about me. Yeah, he loves my legs, don't know why. I don't like them because they're muscular. Um, what is your biggest fear? Heights, always been, and I don't know why. I mean, yeah. 
I mean, I can ride the roller coaster, the highest roller coaster, and I'll be, and I want to be in the front. For some reason, that doesn't scare me. But being um, up high, very high, and not, I'm just you know, like standing still or something, I can't, I don't know, I don't know why. But anyway, so I'm gonna eat that later. I'll just put that back up here. So, um, what is your eye color? Mine are brown. What is your favorite drink? Um, when it comes to alcohol, my favorite drink is gin and tonic. What is your favorite music? Um, it depends. I love um, Christian music, pop, um, some country. I don't like country that are this too twangy. Here's some sausage. Um, what is your favorite food? Right here, seafood. Whenever I can get it. Um, let's see. What is your favorite time of the day? I would probably say, I don't know, it depends. Afternoon morning it, it, it depends if I have, to have, I have to do something but for the most part I love I'm a morning person but I don't mind sleeping in once in a while uh, what is your favorite clothing casual uh, I'm not a fancy person don't know how well I guess I could if I really wanted to but for the most part sweatpants t-shirt or jeans and t-shirt you know, but yeah, casual. What is your favorite pastime? Right now, gardening. I love gardening. Vegetables and flowers. And I like landscaping. So that's my favorite pastime. Um, what is your favorite restaurant? Um, my husband and I love the Vietnamese, Vietnamese food and it just depends too who where you go and who makes it not all vietnamese food are the same so yeah for the most part it's vietnamese um are you a high maintenance hell no no never i was never i never will i mean why um are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage in a head-on I would probably engage it head on to resolve the issue because if you don't resolve the issue, it's always gonna keep resurfacing no matter what. So just head on, deal with it, figure it out, you know, and uh, try to re resolve it as, as quick as possible. Don't let it linger because it's not, not worth it. Um, are you a dog person or a cat? Never had a dog, so I don't know. Um, we have a cat right now, so I guess a cat. Are you a fan of a sports team? No, never watched. Maybe we'll watch the World Series or the Super Bowl or something like that, but that's it. Um, are you a good cook? Yes, I am. And I think that's one of um, my, my greatest, um, I don't know what you call it, that my husband loves. Um, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. I'm new and I hope to stay on YouTube for a long time to gain some, you know, make some new friends, uh, create a community where you can uh, share things, you know, regarding lifestyle, home, or like I said, anything in between. Um, what do you love about the YouTube community? I love the YouTube community because you're able to gain some knowledge from different people, different products, different experiences, you know. So that's good that, you know, before you buy anything, it helps to that somebody can recommend something, try it out, whatever it is. So that's very helpful. Um, what don't you like about the community? Sometimes, I mean, I don't know if it's just me. When I first started, 
I follow several people, um, I, I believe over a hundred um, people that I consistently watch, you know. So when I decided to start my YouTube channel, I reached out to most of them and asked them to please help out, you know, you know, whatever, or give me some suggestion as to how to go about, you know, growing my YouTube channel, you know, whatever. Not one of them responded. But yet, so why do you expect people to subscribe to your channel when you can't even, you know, and you have a faithful followers, and yet you you not even you don't even take the time to give them any kind of advice or whatsoever. And from my experience, they only respond whenever you give them positive feedback. Oh, great videos! Oh, you look awesome today. Then they'll respond to you by saying thank you. That's it. You know, that's the only thing I don't like. They don't really help you out. Um, they don't realize they're not, you know, they won't be where they are if, they're not, if it's not for their subscribers, you know. So, yeah, that's really sad. Um, can you dance? Yes, I can. But I haven't danced in a long time. Do you sing in the shower? No, but I can sing, but I don't sing in the shower. Do you sleep with the lights on or off? I prefer with the lights on. For some reason, I don't like to sleep in the dark. Whether if it's a night light in the hallway or a leather lamp, something's gotta be on. I don't know. I mean, nothing happened to me, you know, during my childhood that traumatized me. Not that I can remember, but yeah, I don't know. I don't like darkness. So this is blue crab. This is actually very good. Um, and um sweet um do you have a garden yes i do we bought a house um we were living in an apartment for like eight years and we decided to buy a house so we bought a house in january of this year and one thing my husband promised me is that i will have a garden so we have i have a garden now it's all fenced in because we have deers in the neighborhood, in my backyard. So he created a deer fence or whatever so they don't eat my vegetables. So I'm really excited about that. Um, let me see here. Do you have a lot of acquaintances or just few close friends? Um, to be honest, I've always been a loner. I don't really need a lot of friends to make me happy or to, you know, to build my character. Um, and I have acquaintances at work. And um, I could say I have a few close friends, but I, you know, we get together once in a while and that's it. But my life does not revolve around other people. It only revolves around my family, my husband and my my daughter and my son who um, lives in Ohio. So not really, you know, I, I you know, it's not, I'm, I can't survive. No, I'm fine without friends, you know. My husband is my best friend, that's all. That's all I need. I don't, I'm not into drama. I don't like drama. I don't like, you know, friends um, being jealous of each other. Or talking bad about each other yeah I was never into that so uh, do you have any allergies no I don't think so but I do suffer from migraine so I don't know if that's an allergy um, you have pets yes I do I have a cat do you believe in love at first size no I don't I believe you need to get to know the person first I believe in first uh, lust uh, for sight yes we lust over someone because of, you know, you may like what you see, but love, no. I believe you need to get to know the person first before you can um, um, go to learn to love someone. I mean, yeah, it's a process. Who was your first celebrity crush? <sighs> I believe it was Scott, ba uh, Scott Bayo. Um, I believe, you know, it's just like, I don't remember the show. 
If you do, can you just comment it below? Um, i trying to remember. Anyway, yeah, he was my first crush because I used to love that. I watch that show all the time. Who would you tell if you found a dead body in your garden? Oh boy, I hope I would never. Well, if I, you know, I, I, my garden is finished, so I would have found it already. But I would say it would be my husband, and then my husband then will and he will call the cops, or I would call the cops. How difficult is it for you to forgive someone? Um, it depends what kind of relationship we have. Um, if you were just a casual friend and you did something to me, um, I just choose not to talk to you. Because if you have the audacity to do something bad to me, that is unforgivable in my eyes, then I don't need you as a friend. Um, I, e I can easily, I don't know if this is a good trait or not, I can just easily disregard someone and not, you know, and not waste my time, you know, trying to figure out what happened. No. So it depends, I guess, on the scenario and how bad and who it is, I guess. Have you forgiven yourself for past mistakes or failures? Um, certainly, you, I believe you have to in order for you to grow and uh, develop. Um, as, I mean, as adults, we, we make mistakes and we still do, and that's how we learn from them. Hoping that we learn from them, you know? I mean, every day you always learn something new, you know? It's never an ending. Knowledge, there's a lot of knowledge out there that, you, you know, that you can uh, learn from. But, yeah. I mean, I've made a lot of mistakes throughout my life. Um, Sometimes they're just, you know, bad decisions, um, wrong people, wrong, you know, whatever. You just have to move on and forgive yourself and learn from it. Um, have you ever suffered a fra fracture? Uh, yes, I have. When I lived in New York for a few years, um, I went to the Rockefeller Center rock, uh, skating rink with a friend and I've never skated before and I was doing fine until a child or a kid pushed me and I, I went um, I lost my balance and I fell and landed on my wrist and fractured my wrist which and which I ended up at the St. Clair's Hospital in the city um, yeah, I think that was the only time. Uh, have you ever dated two people at the same time? No, it's not the right thing to do. What age did you go on your first date? I would probably say 19. My mother was very strict, so. Um, what was the scariest movie you've ever watched? Oh my God, to this day, it was The Exorcist. I'm like, just thinking about it gives me the heebie-jeebie. Maybe that's, oh, you know what? Maybe that's why I don't like sleeping in the dark. I hate that movie. Why did I finish it? I don't know. Yeah, Exorcist, the first one. Watched it in the theater when it first came out. Never, I don't think I slept for a month. Oh my God, the things I do to myself. Mmm. What do you like about your home? Um, land. We have a pretty good sized land. We don't have anybody in our back backyard. We have a neighbor on our one side, but no neighbor on the other side. So it's very uh, private and quiet. So that's one thing I love about it, which we have, you know, plenty of space to, you know, for get together and my garden. That's the most important thing. Um, what is the first book you remember reading? I believe it was The 100 Year of Solitude by Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Yeah, that was the first book. Um, 
What is the last thing you watched on TV? Today was the news, which I hate. I try to avoid watching the news because they, they repeat the same thing over and over. But just to get the weather channel or any new updates, that's it. Then I turn it off. Um, what medical conditions do you have? Um, I'm diabetic and I also have um, Hashimoto thyroiditis. And I just made another video regarding um, though, um, becoming sick regarding the COVID-19 because I was, um, um, I guess when you have other um, factors, health factors, you're more prone to um, getting the virus. So, which I did and I made a, bit, a short video uh, regarding that. So if you could go to my channel and uh, watch that, uh, I appreciate it. Um, what position do you sleep in? I'm a side sleeper. Um, what was your first cell phone? Uh, first cell phone was the one that they install inside your car. Like if you have an antenna in your car, you're a big shot, you know, because people know that you have a cell phone in your car. And then after that, I, I believe it was the Motorola flip phone in black, because there's no other color but black. And that was it. I don't even think you can text by then. You can just, I think you can just get a call. Um, call outbound, inbound, that's it. Um, what drains your energy? Fake people, drama, oh my God, anything that wastes your time and your, that, that just sucks the energy out of me. Dealing with fake people, liars, and drama. That I, I try to avoid. Um, if you can't be real with me, then I don't need you in my life. That's my, that's my thing. It just, oh. Um, if you could have any other job, what would you want to be, do or be? I'd probably be a social worker, um, dealing with, um, teenagers. Um, yeah. Let's see. Are you a hoarder? No, not really. Which I'm very bad about throwing stuff. I feel guilty afterwards. I'm like, oh. But we donate a lot of stuff. We don't use it, we donate it, especially clothes or anything that we don't use anymore. I mean, it's, if it's broken, then throw it away. I'm not gonna keep it. But if it's useful, somebody else could use it, um, either my husband or mine or my daughter, um, we'll donate it. Um, we usually donate it to Salvation Army because um, it actually goes to someone who needs it. Um, so I'll have a couple more. How many children do you have? I have two. I have an 18 year old who's a senior in high school. Unfortunately, they're not gonna graduate, you know, they're not gonna have any graduation ceremony, which is very sad. And I have a 22 year old son who lives in Ohio. Um, what is your religion? I'm a Christian, um, which I have been for, I would say 30 years um, when I first, um, uh, when I was saved, uh, I, I believe it was 30 years. 30 years ago actually 31 years so that's that that's you know hopefully you have some idea who I am or what I'm about you know if you have any other question you can always drop me a comment and I'll respond to you as soon as I can and yeah so creating this YouTube channel hopefully I will gain some friends um, who will create a community of sharing and you know whatever um, the you know whatever inspires us or encourages us you know and builds us up as a you know as a community and so um if you're new to my channel um i would appreciate it if you would subscribe and maybe like this channel if you like watching stuff like this um so yeah subscribe and like and we'll see you again on my next video thanks